It's May 3rd. Today's reading finds David nearing the end of his life. While David is not allowed by God to actually construct the temple, David enthusiastically throws himself into what he can do, gathering and storing up building materials and selecting the location for the temple and preparing its design. The tabernacle would be replaced by the temple. Its construction and ongoing use will require a highly organized and efficient system of operations. So David energetically reassigns clans of the Levites to perform specific tasks, assistants, caretakers, musicians, even janitors. Today's reading shows us once again David's enthusiasm for God's temple, and in the larger sense, his enthusiasm for God's purposes. Again, we see that he proactively took it upon himself to make sure that God's desires and God's purposes were fulfilled. The temple's preparation was his consuming passion during his later years. And while the temple wouldn't be built on his watch, and therefore wouldn't be his great legacy, he was determined to do everything he could to ensure its construction. It wasn't about him or his legacy. His motives were pure. He believed that the magnificent God of Israel should have only the finest temple. He knew its presence in Jerusalem would be critical to the future spiritual life of the nation, and he wanted its splendor to provide an appropriate witness of God's power as a witness to the nations. David wasn't content to end his life a rich and powerful king. He knew God had given him the throne and peace with surrounding nations for a greater purpose. By seeking God's desires, David joined God in the flow of something much bigger than himself. Here's today's application. God's plan for world redemption is a cause bigger than you. It is worthy of your attention, your devotion, and of your life. Seek God's desires first, and He will allow you to join Him in a cause bigger than you. Its scope is global. It is timeless, both ancient and future. Its purpose is noble. There is no higher calling. Seek God's face today. Ask Him where you fit in His great plan for world redemption. Now here's today's prayer.